Team World, today I'm going to show you how to create a permanent link between two different blockchains. Uh, the blockchains that uh, I'll be demonstrating today are, are the Mazacoin blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, so recently I've been archiving uh, quite a bit of data on the Mazacoin blockchain. As an example, here is a, uh, a full uh, HBR High Plains Reader uh, website uh, that was just recently archived. Uh, and if you look at this, uh, basically I'm looking at the contents of this, of this archive now. Uh, the cost of it on the Mazacoin blockchain, uh, it costs a, you know, a little over three uh, Mazacoin in order to archive this. Uh, so uh, now if, if I were to, so if I were to archive the same uh, web page on the Bitcoin blockchain, that would have probably you know cost me around two thousand one hundred dollars or even or even more, uh, because this cost here doesn't actually uh, include the minor fees. Uh, so that could be substantially higher. This could be like three point five. Uh, this only shows you the actual cost of the burnt uh, uh, coin that, that's being used to store the data uh, permanently. So uh, that would be, you know, really cost prohibitive. Uh, so, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to, I would not be able to archive this on Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin is currently the largest uh, network uh, and Bitcoin is also a network that uh, we, that, that I am monitoring uh, for data. And I would assume that other people are monitoring the Bitcoin network for data as well. Uh, so putting a link uh, to the data on Bitcoin is a, is a good place. Uh, currently, that's a really good place to put it. Uh, so what, I'll, what I'm doing uh, today in this demonstration is I am creating that link on Bitcoin, uh, but I'm also creating a, a, a keyword uh, a, a link that will allow people uh, who are monitoring Bitcoin to uh, find data that happens to be on another blockchain uh, by entering uh, the Standing Rock or the Water is Life keyword on Bitcoin uh, because I'll be creating that link in this process. Okay, so this is the uh, Maza coin. You can see here, Maza coin hosted blockchain. All right. And so to begin with, we want to first select the blockchain that we would like to create the link on. So I'm going to select Bitcoin. Uh, we'll select the account where the money will be coming from to create the link. Uh, and then, you would, then we would browse uh, to the uh, item that we would like to create the link for. And I've already done this. So uh, here, here it is. It's this website. Uh, and uh, oh, it looks like our link button isn't selected. Uh, which is, I think, a bug. So I'm going to actually go back and come forward again. And yes, it does look like now the link feature is showing up, which is just this icon here. So I'm going to click that. Uh, and basically all that does is it puts some text into this uh, file name box here. And you can see what it did is it put the transaction ID. And since this uh, Apertus is smart enough to know that I am archiving something onto Bitcoin that came from Mazacoin, uh, it adds this section here to the end of the transaction ID uh, to let uh, the Apertus browsers who monitor and receive this transaction ID know that this was an actually an externally hosted, uh, or basically that this transaction ID exists on a different blockchain represented by this short name. And these short names uh, are set up in your wallets section. Uh, so let's select, select Mazacoin. You can see it's right here. Uh, that's what this field here is being used for, is to create that short name link uh, between blockchains. And we basically use the most common uh, names found on trading sites. Uh, and if a blockchain has a test net, for instance, like Bitcoin test net, then we appended that with dash T. So BTC dash T, for instance, is Bitcoin test net. Uh, and so if you had uh, a link between Bitcoin and Bitcoin test net, this would say at BTC dash T here instead. All right, uh, so that is what creates the link. Uh, but now we also, like I said, I want to establish keywords. So I'm going to put in uh, Standing Rock. And I'm going to put in Water is Life. And maybe later I'll put in additional ones. But for now, uh, this, this is, these are the main ones that I, that I want uh, to uh, associate with uh, this data. Uh, so uh, select to select. All right, and then the next step. Oh, uh, also, I want to make sure that uh, the no message box here is checked because I don't actually want to archive uh, this additional text. I just want to create the link for the keyword. And so this new no message uh, feature 
lets me send the commands that create the link for the standing rock and waterlight keyword without without actually having to etch the text of it uh, along with it. Uh, so that's going to save me money, and that's important, especially uh, since we will be actually spending real Bitcoin uh, in order to do this uh, link. All right, let's hit the etch button. Now you can see it spent a little bit of Bitcoin, 0 0.0001. 0406 Bitcoin is what it costs to create this permanent link uh, between uh, the, th the uh, three Bitcoins worth of data on another blockchain onto the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, it's right now in the process of rebuilding this entire uh, web page. Uh, it's going out to the Mazacoin blockchain to do that. Uh, and then it's also going to go out to the Bitcoin blockchain and uh, rebuild the page uh, that is the link for this page. Uh, so it's doing that right now. And it may take a little bit of time because the um, uh, HPR uh, page is actually, it consists of not just one uh, website, but that's uh, actually, I think, four uh, different websites uh, that are building in the back. Uh, so it might take a bit of time here before this uh, gets finished. But I did want to show you the, the final product because uh, so you can see uh, that it is actually referencing the Bitcoin blockchain now on this post. Yet you can still see uh, all the data associated with it uh, from the Mazacoin blockchain. And it doesn't help that I've been uh, I'm actually etching things onto the Mazacoin blockchain uh, at the same time. All right, so we've got a page HPR page uh, just loaded. Uh, which means basically uh, that it has finished and we've got a new transaction ID which is a Bitcoin transaction. Hold on once. Aha, okay, so we've got water is life. Uh, uh, the thing I want to show you here is that it's actually referencing that this is actually on Bitcoin now when really all of this data, including this profile, is on a completely separate chain. And so if I click on here, now uh, you can see that uh, it's referencing Bitcoin, uh, but yet we see all the Mazacoin uh, data. And if you look at the link file, you can see that uh, the last link is actually to Mazacoin, uh, which is that external reference. So if you were a Bitcoin browser, uh, you would get to this here. Uh, and then from this point on, uh, your uh, Mazacoin would take over uh, and it would build all these ones uh, uh, separately. Okay, so that's it. Uh, and so it's that fast. Uh, uh, actually, that was kind of slow, but uh, you know, I'm sorry about that. I was, I, I'm trying to do two things at once. All right, have a great day, and uh, I mean, have a <laughs> have a good rest of your day or night, depending on what time you might be listening to this.